time, oh big time, oh big time. You ain't so big down there in that whole night. This song is called Big Time. It's a murder revenge ballad I wrote after a long conversation with my step grandpa Brady about some stuff that was happening to our family at the time. After we got done talking, I went home and picked up the guitar and I guess I, I just kind of wrote this story about what he liked to do. What's this whole world coming to is a uh, is a style of music that I that I invented that I call metal Billy. It's a mixture of of uh, kind of country chords mixed with heavy metal sounds. And I, I wrote this song one afternoon just watching the news and flipping through the channels. And I think Rico does a great job on the lap steel guitar on this one. <laughs> Feuding. Uh, I wrote this song driving home from Humboldt County sometime in the summer of 2010. Uh, I was inspired just by the place I grew up in and, and the stories I heard from my dad and, and just things that happened to my friends. Working hard ain't hardly working for me. Uh, I wrote out on the oyster farm, working for my Uncle Mark and my stepdad, Corey. Um, at the time, gas was somewhere around $4.50 a gallon, and wages were down, and everyone I knew was broke, so I wrote this song for them. I've got a Ford truck, I can't afford to drive. Another dead friend I wrote sometime in 2006 or 2007, sitting in my apartment in Reno. You know, it's a... Uh, I guess it's just about that feeling you get when you lose a close friend. Got a call from mom. She was crying, trying to take my Hey, I'm the repo man. The repo man. I wrote this song while on tour in Nashville. Uh, we are in the tour van and we passed this semi truck with a couple of repossessed BMWs on the back and a couple of Mercedes Benzes and I grabbed the guitar and just wrote it in about 20 minutes from the perspective of the guy who drives around takes people's stuff when they can't pay all their bills. Oh yeah, State Line. Uh, you know, I completely forgot about this song until... Justin sent me this recording that's on, that's gonna be on the CD. Uh, I say it's a pretty cool song, pretty good story, pretty good beat. The Black Mass. Uh, I wrote this song about an Alex Jones documentary scene on the internet. He takes his video camera out to a place called Bohemian Grove in the woods of Northern California and gets all this video footage of some sort of satanic ritual going on at night and he says that there's all sorts of uh, high up government people and high up corporate people and they're just out there doing all sorts of weird stuff. If the good lord's a good old boy, I think this song turned out great. It's got a real pretty steel guitar part on it. It tells a story about a guy who's trying to raise a family and doing the best he can. But he's praying for just a little bit of extra help. So be sure to pick up the new Excavators album out November 27th, the day after Thanksgiving, on Rusty Knuckles Records. Featuring me, LV, the foreman, 
on bass, drum, acoustic guitar, harmonica, and voice, and Rico Peterson on lap steel and banjo. Thank you all for listening. Cause if the